Hello, Mr. Luigi, how are you? Good, thank you, Mr. Apratin. Thank you very much. Well, uh, let me ask you, the ongoing coronavirus pandemic has disrupted, disrupted the way we normally function. And since you are a very big production, machine production company, how are you coping up with the situation? What I'm, at the moment, the production activities, as you know, in Italy are almost stopped, yeah? And uh, this is in full compliance with uh, all the government decrees which have been issued to contain the spread of COVID-19. But in spite of this, uh, uh, we are doing all and our best, both in Italy and all around the world with our subsidiaries to continue providing our customers with service, assistance, and uh, uh, even remotely and even in the most difficult times. As you know, <clears throat> this is part of our mission. Uh, we said, uh, you will never work alone. You know, that is, uh, it's not just a slogan for SEM, but it's a real genuine approach towards ensuring our customers are fully satisfied. This is important for us at the moment, yeah? SEM branches, that are all around the world, um, across the globe, are on end and uh, providing customized answers to the various demands. People doesn't stop to fill the business. So our customer doesn't stop to make answers, to ask for support, to deep in products. And that's why with uh, all our industry specialists, uh, we are supporting them for advanced technology solutions, but also for the classical solution that we are really work with. Um, and this is the, the big advantage is, is now the digital services. Your business cannot perform, cannot function without the supply chain, which is very, very important for service and manufacturing. And that hit really badly during this COVID-19. So how do you manage yes. that? Of course, supply chain is the, uh, the part of the, of the business that was affected since uh, day one. Because uh, supply chain, we are, we are not making services. We are producing machines, we are exactly. assembling machines, and we are exporting these kind of machines. But said that, um, in the current moment that world is uh, facing, uh, SCM supply chain is now more than ever one of the stronger points of the group. Why that? Indeed, on the most components of our machines are supplied by companies which are part of SCM group. Electro spindle, bowling heads, frame, you know that we are producing all internally. And that's why as soon as we uh, face this issue with the, the China at the beginning stop and then the rest of the world, we um, keep continuing until we can uh, to support in our customers. This will be also, I should say, the strength when the production and the operations will restart because um, we will have all the major components in our companies produced and um, our partners, our partners in terms of supply chain suppliers, our partners that works with us since ever, we are ensuring that they will have the right liquidity to restart the production as soon as we restart the production and we are keep them uh, in a safe side. Well, now I come to your second part. Digital technology is something one must adopt to cope up this crisis and digital technology is the only thing can survive can give good service so in terms when when it is SCM is always advanced I think so can you elaborate on that yeah um, uh, I, I should say that uh, uh, this um, uh, unfortunately this crisis happens uh, and in the meantime I should say that confirm how is important to develop a digital strategy from both sides, customer side and uh, uh, OEMs and machine producer side to be always connected despite what happens all around the world.
Yeah, this is even more important, and this is uh, is being even strengthened in this period. We continue to offer our support to the secondary work processing business, from uh, the large and to the artisan, from the furniture to the windows business, in the same way. We continue to remain even now with the uh, um, with our smart working activities. We keep uh, staying uh, um, at side of all our industri industrial professionals, yeah? With uh, the concept of smart human factory. For sure, do you remember this smart human factories approach? Right, right. That is a characteristic of SCM. And is our key objectives on this is to carry on being a trusted partner with the widest range for our customers. What it means that uh, if you see what we are doing, we are using all uh, pot potential uh, tools that we developed, all the technological innovation, the digital factory, and the support services that we had developed in the last years. Just an example, for example, the uh, SCM products and the campus training. Uh, what a, a best period to uh, develop the competencies of our people around the, all around the world, yeah? Sales people, service people. And uh, this is based on uh, e-campus training. So it's a digital platform where we are making training to all people around the world about the new products that are already launched and the new product they are going to come, yeah? But this is not all, also, this is also for our customers. They are asking, to develop people that at the moment from their production, uh, they, are, they, they, they are at home. So they asked to us, why you don't train our maintenance people with this digital platform to ensure that when we start production, we go even, uh, even uh, faster. And then there is the Maestro Connect platform that pro provide anyway instant access to a wide range of services yeah, in a, a virtual mode. And you know what I'm, what I'm saying. So um, just an example, there are uh, countries that are installing steel machines, that they are making maintenance in the meantime in the factories, in this slowdown. And with our smart tech that are the, um, you know, the glasses, right. that is the mental reality assistance, thanks to that, thanks to a wearable computer on a specific control software, SCM expert, can diagnose and solve problems still in real time. SmartX, you know, incorporates video, camera, microphone, loudspeaker functions, and is a wireless connection completely hands free. So this is where we are taking the advance and we are keeping investing in this new, I should say, digital capitalist, digital strategy. So my question is, as as we know, like B2B business, um, the main business place is, uh, is a trade show. And because of this COVID-19, most of the trade shows are postponed or canceled. And we already, you know, we know about uh, the Dialect Expo, which is 2020 main attraction. We don't have a new date. So what is your view on that? And how much uh, this will affect the Italian woodworking business? The exhibition uh, network uh, is very important uh, uh, for the woodworking business. Why? Because um, in, that, in that context, we, have, we experienced really the good relations that all companies developed with the different customers. And on the other side, customers can experience what can happen in the future in terms of technology and live uh, in reality uh, on their own or with their people. Okay, and this is, so exhibition network is very important, but what is even more, more important is that the business context needs to be the good one in order to have from one side exhibitors and the other side customers that have the real uh, possibility to make business together. We don't do exhibition to do exhibition. We do exhibition to make business together and show to the customers what can happen in the future. If this business condition cannot stay, 
the trade show organizer and the exhibitors on the other side needs to have the responsibility to decide to not do it uh, in that moment. I think this is really, really important. We need to protect the uh, investment of our customers. We need to protect the investment of the exhibitors and the trade show. So this is the responsibility as Yuma Boa, we are also managing in between. And uh, as a company leader, I should say that we need to take really care. What is going to happen for woodworking? I think that anyway, the companies are organizing themselves to have anyway a contact, a direct contact with the customers. Because uh, 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 demo live or uh, other tools, uh, uh, calls, um, hangout meetings or whatever, still companies are managing this relation, keep this relation uh, open, yeah? Uh, knowing that anyway, we will start making the normal business as soon as possible. But we're coming back to the woodworking companies. I think uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm in this business now since a while and the ability to face even the most difficult challenges has always been the woodworking co companies strong point, yeah? So we, we went through a different, uh, uh, different period, the crisis of 2008, 2007, but many businesses uh, uh, stopped the production, but not the creativity. We don't stop the creativity. What it means is that still the companies, we uh, as SCM, we are studying a new product solution. We are investing in R&D. The, uh, and that are more suited to the new needs and retailers that can happen. And we are ready to support them in these projects. So we need to think now today in this uh, changing environment, uh, which kind of products are priority number one for our customers. We must be ready to restart, which will be and, and in new ways, I think. We are facing the challenges never experienced before. And for this reason, uh, uh, our ability is to react, to adapt the changing becomes, and these changes becomes even more fundamental than before. I'm sure that the, the world does not going to stop, has never stopped, and will never stop. So we, uh, as, I, as I said, we, we should uh, divide the strategy at the moment, and the companies are working on that, SCM is working on two different scenarios. One, to respond at what is happening. And the other one is to recover, is the second scenario. How is going, which is the strategy uh, to recover when the market is going to come back? We need to take time to think about it. And uh, SCM is going to even restart in the strongest way as, as before. Right. As, as you know, Wooden Panel is uh, one of the pioneers in the world is digital medium. We have noticed like uh, 30 to 40 percent increase in terms of people reading online because now it is the only option possible. So do, do you also face the similar challenge? Are you ready with the all sort of digital promotion marketing tools for your company? Um, well, just to give you some, even some numbers, uh, we launch a training program in the morning, uh, two weeks ago, and in one hour, we had uh, more than 200 requests to participate. We trained more than 1,000 people per year, yeah? And uh, this is uh, uh, our, you know, training program that is always going on. For sure, we need to think about these uh, tools as a, a need at the moment. But in the near future, we will reconvert from a need to the real strategy of the different right. companies to do things. So I, I think this is what is going to happen. People will, be, will experience a new way of uh, working and uh, they will take out of it advantages. And for sure, um, this will turn from need to strategy. Well, as a most prominent and most knowledgeable woodworking professional 
if i ask you what did you learn last in last few months if you, if i ask you two main things you've learned the the most important confirmation is that we need to take care about our human capital uh we have uh, many professional people in our companies knowledgeable people with a lot of experience with a lot of know-how and uh, when there is a risk company needs to take care about the people they works with every moment this is a, a confirmation of uh, our way to work with the talent people and uh, knowledge workers and continue to invest in their healthy safety and uh, development this is the first confirmation the second for sure digital strategy so we are developing something and you even don't know how fast we'll be implementing into the marketplace so i think uh, uh, what we have learned is that innovation can support you not only develop your company but can turn in a, a tool that can support uh the relations and the business between people and the third and the third is that um, for sure globalization is a is a, a big advantage as you know we are exporting more than 90% all around the world so we are a global uh companies but to be global you need to be very close to your customers and customer needs to be very close to you so i think uh, uh, for for us that we produce machines we need always to develop new tools and uh, also have the right attitude to be as much as possible close to our customers mr luigi thank you very much for talking to me it was really pleasure my regards to you and i wish you good health and good luck also everybody out there in rimini at your office my lovely friends maria alessandra and everybody thank you very much for talking to me i really appreciate stay alfi you and all the people that will listen this uh, messages all around the world and um, and uh, stay really safe and alfi and uh, a peace to everybody